If we can get everyone to their seats, please. All the members, as well as family members and loved ones, if you could be so kind enough to get to your seats so we can begin today's ceremony. Thank you so very much. We're gonna start off today uh, in just a quick second. I want to introduce very quickly the Mariachi Divas, the Cindy Shea, they are a multicultural, all female, infused with the true flavor of Southern California, and for that matter, throughout the state of California, of the ethnic melting pot which gave their birth and their unique sound back in 1999. Their excellence was initially recognized by the Disneyland Resort, where they had been performing and entertaining worldwide audiences of all ages on a daily, year-round basis since 2003. The divas, under the musical direction of Alberto Beto Jimenez, have contributed to lead the way in the mariachi game and genre. Their achievements are unmatched internationally. So with that, we introduce, ladies and gentlemen, the mariachi divas. Quitando, Torito, lo alebre estado. 
y las trancas de su chiquero que ya le quita este toro mi vida lo mitotero y ahí va como borreguito chatita a su potrero toro 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 entra de largo que mi frita chula torito me está mirando Te estoy quitando, Torito, lo alebre estado. Ay, ay. Gracias. Give it up for the Mariachi Divas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I have the opportunity to present to each and every one of you the great Lieutenant Governor of the great state of California, Mr. Gavin Newsom. Thank you, Thank you. We're here's to uh, a tie-breaking vote in the future. Uh, the hour of 12 o'clock is, uh, is here and uh, pursuant to section four, or rather article four, section three of the Constitution of the State of California, uh, the Senate now will officially come to order. All the senators having taken their seats, I want to ask that uh, the members themselves, the members elect and their guests beyond the rail in the gallery are advised, I, I'm just the bearer of this bad news, no flash photography. Um, that said, you know, do what you have to do. Um, we wanna be respectful. Uh, and uh, I'm, I only get here every couple of years, so I you know, might as well take advantage. Uh, and pursuant to everyone's favorite section, section 9150 of the government code, uh, Daniel Alvarez, the Secretary of the Senate, and Debbie uh, Manning, Sergeant Arms, and Neva Marie Parker, our minute clerk, are all in their respective places. And with the members and the members elect and our guests beyond the rail in the gallery, pre please rise as we are led in prayer by our guest chaplain, Father Gregory Boyle, after which I'll ask you to please remain standing for the presentation of the colors by C.K. McClatchy, the high school junior ROTC unit. What Martin Luther King says about church could well be said of this gathering this afternoon, that it's not the place you've come to, it's the place you will go from. And we go from here with a vision of wanting the world to look differently than it currently looks. The prophet Habakkuk writes, the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and it will not disappoint. And if it delays, wait for it. But none of us want to wait for too long con los brazos cruzados, staring at our feet and watching our uh, watches. We want to imagine something different. And so with God, we imagine a circle of compassion, and then we imagine nobody standing outside that circle. We pray and hope for leaders who will know how to dismantle the barriers that exclude, who know how to stand at the margins with the poor and the powerless and the voiceless, with those whose dignity has been denied and those whose burdens are more than they can bear. We hope and pray for leaders who know how to stand with the easily despised and the readily left out, with the demonized so that the demonizing will stop, and with the disposable so that the day will come when we stop throwing people away. We go from this place and we stand against forgetting that we belong to each other. We stand always as enlightened witnesses, people who through your kindness and tenderness and focused attempt of love return people to themselves. And so we hope and pray for leaders who will know how to obliterate the illusion that we are separate. We go from here to measure the health of our communities in their ability to stand in awe at what the poor have to carry rather than stand in judgment at how they carry it. For in the end, the measure of our compassion will always reside not in our service of those on the margins, 
but in our willingness to see ourselves in kinship with them. And so, because this is an event and a moment from which we will eventually leave, we bow our heads and pray. God of all compassion, who dreams of our kinship with each other, you who love us without measure and without regret, you who are too busy loving us to have any time left for dismay or disappointment, guide us to be in the world who you are, compassionate, loving, and kind. Lead us to seek your exquisite mutuality with the least and the lost and the last. Help us to measure our success always in our fidelity to the care of the widow and the orphan and the stranger. So grant us this day and always your way of seeing, your vision. For the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment and it will not disappoint. And if it delays, we wait for it. Que Dios nos bendiga, nos acompañe, nos protege de todo mal. Te lo pedimos todo por Cristo nuestro Señor. Amen. Thank you. Now for the presentation of the colors by the C.K. McClatchy High School Junior ROTC, Unit CA-841. Now it will be led in Pledge of Allegiance by Senator Roth. Oh. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now we ask for the national anthem to be performed once again by the Mariachi Divas.
Thank God, please retire the colors. Everyone now could be seated, please. The Secretary of the Senate will now read the certificate of election of the duly elected senators. I, Deborah Bowen, Secretary of State at the State of California, hereby certify that according to the semi-official results provided to my office by county elections officials as of November 24, 2014, the persons whose names are here and after set forth have received the plurality of votes in their respective state senate districts at the November 4, 2014 general election. That opposite their respective names are the state senate districts from which they have, as of this date, received a plurality of the votes in the names of the county or counties comprising or forming a portion of said districts with the name of any county entirely within or comprising the district shown in capital letters. Mike McGuire, second district. Jim Nielsen, fourth district. Richard Pan, sixth district. Tom Berryhill, eighth district. Bob Wykowski, 10th district. Anthony <coughs> Canella, 12th district. Andy Vidak, 14th district. Gene Fuller, 16th district. Bob Hertzberg, 18th district. Connie Leva, 20th district. Ed Hernandez, 22nd district. Kevin DeLeon, 24th District. Ben Allen, 26th District. Jeff Stone, 28th District. Holly J. Mitchell, 30th District. Tony Mendoza, 32nd District. Janet Wynn, 34th District. Patricia Bates, 36th District. Joel Anderson, 38th District. And Ben Hueso, 40th District. In witness whereof, I hereunto set my hand and affix the great seal of the state of California this 24th day of November, 2014, Deborah Bowen, Secretary of State. Thank you. And the next order of business is Senate Resolution 1 by Senator uh, Leno. Mr. Secretary, please read the resolution. Senate Resolution 1 by Senator Leno relative to holdover senators. Uh, Senator Leno, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Welcome back. Thank you. Colleagues, in keeping with my tradition of introducing controversial legislation <laughs> on the first day of each new session, Senate Resolution 1 would have returning senators remain at their seats and have senators-elect proceed to the bar of the Senate to take their oaths of office. I urge the passage of this resolution. <laughs> well, Senator Leno requests an aye vote. All those in favor of the resolution, please say aye. Aye. And those opposed, say nay. Well, the ayes have it, and the resolution is therefore adopted. Senators-elect, please proceed to the bar of the Senate and take your oath of office. And Senator Gaines and Galgiani and Jackson and Lara, will you please, please proceed to the rear of the chamber in order to escort the Honorable Tani Kantil Sakaue, Chief Justice of the California Supreme Court, who will administer the oath of office. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I, will bear true faith and allegiance that I bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely, this obligation freely without, any without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you for your leadership.
All right, if we can have all the senators take their seats. And uh, if I asked everyone who took a photo using a flash to leave, this place would be empty. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't see any flashes. I will ask now the secretary, uh, if you could, please uh, call the roll of all of the senators. Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, De Leon, Isanye, Fuller, Gaines, Galjani, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Knight, Lada, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morell, Wynn, Nielsen, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Stone, Fidak, Walters, Wykowski, Walk. Thank you very much. The next order of business is Senate Resolution 2 by Senator Fuller. Mr. Secretary, please read the resolution. Senate Resolution 2 by Senator Fuller relative to the election of officers. Right. Uh, Senator Fuller, you may proceed. Mr. President and members, on behalf of the Senate, I am pleased to present SR2, which elects Senator Kevin DeLeon, President Pro Tem of the Senate, Daniel Alvarez, Secretary of the Senate, and Debbie Y. Manning as Sergeant at Arms of the Senate. As our officers for the Senate for the 2015-2016 regular session. I know these individuals well. I've spent time with them. I know they are willing and ready to serve. I know they are able. And I know they will all uphold the high standards of the Senate that all of us are committed to and are proud of and are united in our wanting to make California better. So I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Senator Fuller requests an aye vote. All those in favor of the resolution say aye. aye. All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it and the resolution is adopted. Now the oath of office will be administered to the newly elected officers of the Senate by a Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of California. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. Many congratulations.
want to do down there? I'd like to actually have an open invitation to all the uh, young children out here today. If they'd like to come up and be part of this ceremony uh, with us, please come up and join all the kids. All the kids who want to come up, please, they're all free to come on up. <laughs> So I want you to state your name and tell us who's holding the Bible for our President De Leon. My name is Diego, and I'm holding the Bible. Thank you, Diego. <laughs> That's. <Literally>. Well done. <laughs> That's quite a large Bible, Diego, and if you don't mind, I'd like you to hold it up above your head so people can see this Bible because it is on loan from the State Library. This Bible is from 1502, I understand, and it has been used for our state's leaders, and I also understand today from our state law librarian, Greg Lucas, that it is inscribed by many of our leaders. Thank you, Diego. We'll begin. <laughs> I thank you all the children for being here. No offense to prior folks, I've administered the oath of office, but this is the finest young group of leaders I've yet to see. Thank you, President De Leon, for inviting them up here. Please raise your hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Kevin De Leon. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties upon which I am about to enter. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you very much. <laughs> 